Hey there, everyone. My name is Logan Shepard, and guys of games. Back with some more. This game, asshole. He's an asshole. You know, asshole, asshole, asshole. Who we? So this is around the point where, like, I vaguely remembered Special Stage One. Of course, I remembered Special Stage Two like perfectly because I've <laughs> seen this stupid thing so many times. I don't remember what Special Stage Three is like at all. I don't remember it in the slightest. I remember Special Stage Four being the castle. But I don't remember this one at all. Have you ever noticed how cool the... Like the... I don't even... How, what do you even call that? The background of the UI is? Like behind the the Mario up up top. Like behind the words special stage and stuff. Like yeah, the random symbols. But also like at the bottom... At the, like, the bottom right and the right edge. It, it's like the screen is like projected on top. Because there's a shadow. Which I've never really thought about. I've rarely ever really looked at it. It actually looks really cool. It, it almost looks like it's like I'm playing Super Game Boy. You know, you got the border. Like that sort of dealio. It's pretty cool looking. Who boy. Alright, so what's Special Stage 3, Jeepers? I don't remember at all. Let's see, what, what, what do... Mmm, good first save. Well, good thing I already did that. Okay, so all of a sudden I'm getting a slight tinge of memory back, but I still... Wow, that jump is much harder than it looks. I swear I'm... I'm not making this jump. Ugh. Dude, this first jump is actually quite brutal. There's no way I'm tap dancing off of a... I'm not tap dancing off of Fishing Fish Guy because he's too high up. And you can't tap dance off the fire. It's one of the very, very, very few things in this game you can't spin jump off of. And I imagine that might just be... be like, I wonder if that the reason you can't even spin jump off of it is not because of the decided not to, but just because of the fact that it's like a weird... Like, it's not... You know what I mean? It's like an extension of Fishing Fish Guy and not part of his normal sprite so it's like maybe it's got some weird properties to it because of that I can't get up here it's impossible and when I do get up there the slipperiness makes me walk right off okay we're saving now get over there luckily he follows you pretty well so oh yeah he follow he followed me very well so I can die oh Okay. Huzzah. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of there. Oh, shit. No! Ho-ho! <laughs> Get out of there. Fishing block guys? Ah, nuts. Shit! Damn, he followed me well. Oh, yeah, that, that whole shebang. Where his flame practically teleports to you. Dude, where do I stand that I don't die? There's like, I, I bet you there's a spot where I can stand where his flame will teleport through me. Like, yeah, like there. Ah, oh, crap. Because he's missing so many frames, I, I can't actually clip through me. That's pretty funny, actually. Not quite there. What the? Shit! Ah, and then I die the muncher. Dude, I did this randomly first try and now I can't do it. I just got lucky. Just threw myself in there and it was perfect. Dude, would you guys move? I'm literally like against the screen. How? <sighs> I've put myself in a bad spot here with this save, but I mean, what am I gonna do? Yes, so oh, fuck, dude, he flies in from off screen. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish for a, a way to. Ah, uh, oh, God, what is this spot I've put myself in? It didn't seem like it was that bad, but it feels like I'm just like in Bonerville now. Okay, just, please, just, 
calm down, you stupid asshole. Get me up here. I'm so close to a little bit of reprieve. <sighs> but single tile jump is impossible for me. I'm dead. I'm glad I didn't try to save there. Mmm, I love Mario World controls. I'm gonna complain about that so much. I don't know why, because I feel like all I hear is people saying this game is like the best controls of any Mario game. And every time I hear that, I always think like, man, why, why did, then does it just feel like I'm on ice the whole time? It feels so slippery to me. Right, it's the, it's, I complain about this in Donkey Kong Land. It's too easy to turn around, if you ask me. Like, he, like, here's the thing, like, Mario has great swing controls, but, like, the fundamental difference there is that the, the swing controls allow you to stop very easily, but they don't allow you to accelerate very easily, if that makes any sense. This game has the opposite thing with its above-ground controls, where you're freaking... Freaking... You, you, can, you can't stop on a dime, because you're constantly... The game's constantly trying to be like, hey-ho! Wow. Great pause. Oh, that didn't even kill me right away. Man, the hitbox of the flame is actually puny. Oh, I got squashed. This is this is a really weird situation. I, mean, I think it's... Oh, well, maybe it's more that the hitbox of the flame is just a little bit top-heavy. But also because Mario's head hitbox is much smaller than it looks. Like, his, his hat basically doesn't count at all. I think, actually, the hitbox might actually go... Strictly, like, stop at his ear. Like, something like that. Maybe not exactly that, but around there. Okay. Perfecto. Oh! Oh! Bollocks! I was not expecting that. I forgot about this shebang. Dude, oh, but that's like the end of the end. Wow. Now I have to deal with Fishing Fish Guy being an asshole. Ha 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 ha! Yes. It's a good thing Mario's invincible to most things when he's uh, in the end screen. Like, you're actually invincible to anything that isn't specifically a, like, like, tile hazard. Like,. Actually, it's even hard, harder than that, because I don't think munchers will kill him. Do munchers kill you in the end walk? Or is it just lava and hot mud? Well, I don't know, but uh, I remember that stage. Not at all, but uh, I enjoyed it. It's a cool little fishing fish guy auto-scroller. It's kind of funny. It's funny to me that in this short hack, Fishing Fish Guy has already shown up more than he does in actual Shmoo. Because he shows up in like one room. And the room is designed in such a way that it's basically made for you to interact with him as little as possible, right? Because it's low to the ground and made so it tries to, it tries to make you jump only as like... It's like it wants you to jump into him, so it tries to like use that as a hazard. But otherwise, there's not much to, like, do in that room, if I remember. Like, it's mostly just a flat room with some booze in it, other than Fish and Fish Guy. Uh, I almost want to do this, but I'd rather... Uh, that was pretty short. Should I make it a grand finale for the last one? Just Because two shorts in a row is, like, one thing. Hmm. Let's get a taste for it, because I remember what it is. I do want to show this funny interaction off, which is that if you wait, I'm, I actually don't know if this is 100%, but I think if you wait for this whole cutscene to play, the fireball goes right for some reason, and you, you've, you've immediately failed. You lose for watching cutscene. Only if you skip the cutscene manually by pressing the button does the fireball go to the left, because, uh... The answer is I have no idea why. It's just some weird smooth thing. I don't think it's I don't think the fireball direction is based on RNG because it always goes to the left. It might be that like maybe if you watch the whole cutscene, because now that I think about it, actually here 
Let's. I'm, I'm curious. I'm gonna test one thing. I'm gonna skip it, but I'm gonna wait till he walks all the way inside first before I skip it. Yeah, that's what that. So that that actually makes a lot of sense. So if you can't tell, the fireball always when it spawn whenever stuff spawns in, right? It goes towards Mario's position, basically. Usually that just means if it scrolls in from the right side of the screen, it's gonna go left. And if it scrolls in from the left side of the screen, it's gonna go right. But this is sort of a weird fringe case because it specifically is checking where Mario is and not the sc like where it's coming in from relative to the screen. If I wait till Mario is all the way to the right. Like, at least past the spawn coordinates of the fireball. Is that enough? No, because the fireball is all the way to the right. If I wait till Mario's walks past where the fireball would scroll relative to the screens, so I wait for him to disappear and then skip, it's gonna go to the right! That's so weird! I mean, that makes a lot of sense, but that's such a weird quirk. That's such an interesting interaction. That's, that's the only way you would really be able to know that that's how that actually works. So if you if you uh, let me let me just like put this in a nutshell like to really like break it down and clarify. So basically the when stuff spawns in like that, like directional stuff like fireballs and I'm assuming for bullet bills and stuff too. The direction it moves is not just it's not based on where it is like when it scrolls in. So like if I scrolled in if I move into the right and it scrolls in from the right, it doesn't move to the left because it's scrolled in from the right. It moves to the left because its its direction is towards where Mario is. And I guess another situation that, that would apply to is if you come out of a pipe. Uh, but basically, because I let the screen scroll all the way to- or like, I let Mario walk all the way to the right on this screen, it uses his coordinates here for where it spawns, because I'm guessing it places the fireball first, or whatever, before it places, it like resets Mario's position to the left here. So it places the fireball, and since the last coordinates of Mario were over to the right, fireball goes to the right, instead of coming towards me. That's so cool. Because off the top of my head, I can't think of any situations in vanilla where... Well, that's probably not true, because there's probably random sprites that do that too, like like Koopas and stuff, or even like Cheap Cheeps. Or they probably first start walking towards the direction Mario is, based on, like, if he comes out of a pipe, they'll just walk towards the pipe. Very cool, but uh, yeah, I'm taking that as I went on a little tangent, good enough for me. I'm going to end it here, we're going to save the big, because the last level is pretty, this level is pretty hard. Like, even relative to the rest of the game, especially because it has... An actual boss, and the boss is, uh, boss is fun. Anyways, yeah, that'll be it for this part. See you guys later.